What's up, Purists? It's Bob from Purist Motorsports. I'm here with Mark Lamaskin again. We're looking at a car, the PAS Collection. And she's a pretty famous redhead, right, Mark? No, I would say so. Right. Yeah, she's, she's been on TV. So uh, let's get started. This car is, um, she's a Tonight Show star, right? This car is probably one of the most famous, most photographed, most published Celines ever. Uh, this car was actually the car that Celine used in all their advertisements for the SC cars and for their parts. And then also, what'd you say? The Tonight Show? The Tonight Show. Yep. This is a car that they loaned, uh, who? Tim Allen. Who's Tim Allen? I don't know, man. Yeah. I have no, uh, some guy on TV has exactly. this big hit show, it, race car driver. He's actually one of Steve's partners at the at the time, or actually maybe it was a little bit later, in a race team. But but Tim used this for a burnout challenge against Jay Leno on The Tonight Show. And this is kind of a really cool car. I bought this car from the original owner many years ago. I've owned it on and off several times. And um, it was nice to dig this out of the warehouse in order to be and dust it off in order to for people to be able to see it. This car is not out very often. I'll, I'll, I have to admit, you know, obviously, with what you have at SA10, I'm starstruck with that. But I've never seen this car in person. Really, this is the first time I've actually seen this in person, and it's it's pretty cool. Some of the touches that you've done, you, you could tell this was handled with care when they were putting stuff on it, there was oh, yeah. a lot of cool stuff. The, it, it came with this cage right. and it's well. We actually have photographs showing it being built while it had the cage in it, yeah. which yeah. is pr pretty neat. But you know, this car is, is probably the, the most well known as the Tonight Show yeah. star. Yeah. And uh, they actually had a, a, the prop department make up a baby seat for the passenger seat uh, for Tim because he said it was his wife's car. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. really, really neat. Um, as you know, I've owned quite a few crazy cars of the Celine era in my day, but this car really was fast. Way back in the, in the day, I drove this car uh, daily for about a month or so. I used to throw a dealer tag on something and drive it until we sold it. And I really didn't want to give this car up until uh, I got into a situation that I was driving way too fast for the, for the time I was on the road and I got stopped <laughs> in this car. And uh, the, the police officer came up and he looked and I ha happened to know him because we do a lot with local law enforcement. And he goes, is this the car that was on the Tonight Show? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh man, this is cool. And we started talking and then he's like, oh, by the way, you need to slow down. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. So, what, so the car saved you from- The car <laughs> saved me a ticket. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's awesome. Now this is 90, 1990 SC number 12. 12 right, right, which it wouldn't have come with these wheels and some of the updates that are on the car right now. Right. But Kerry Peterson was the gentleman who owned it originally. And I had a long conversation with him when I bought it. Car came out of California, obviously. And what he said to me was Celine's marketing people or Steve would call him and say, hey, we're doing a photo shoot. We're doing something. Can we borrow the car? Right. And instead of paying him to use the car, they would update whatever parts were on the car. So he would get the car back because it's basically in 93 SC configuration minus the carbon hood. 
Well, and maybe seats. Or and, I'm sorry, you're correct. Car and and the seats, seats also. Yeah. For, you know, and that's what they did. They would constantly update the car in order to uh, to use it for promotional stuff. Well, my, my obviously first time viewing this car was online um, because you watch the video. You can actually sure. search YouTube for the, the burnout yeah. contest and uh, you can see it there. But the that and it, I, I during my time of working on my car, almost four, getting it to snuff, Joe Gazinski, who was a technician at the time at Celine during these years. Mm -hmm. um, now, I want to say that he was when this car came in, he was a part of putting some things on this car and was very he was proud and of this. the rumor is that this car was actually used for development with Vortec for the original supercharger kit um, I don't have any proof of that but uh, it's on some of their original um, you know papers work and, and ads that they sent out well, and the car still original paint that's what's also amazing too Wow yeah it's original paint now it, it, this car adorns the um, it's a, a catalog number two for 93. I, I believe you're in, correct. In the bottom, it's a double page spread. And I say that because I, I recently opened one of those because well, I had to take pictures. How but. you can tell is you can see the roll bar inside here with the side photographs. You can actually see it in a lot of the stuff. So you know it's this car. The, the, the way I could tell on some of it is the wing. That's kind of the, the sure. roll bars for one, but the, the wing. The 90 I mean, double stack wing is unique yeah. to these cars. But it, you know, it really looks like a, a 93 when you get it first glance in those pictures and photographs because of the wheels and things that mm -hmm. they had done to it. Um, but I noticed, I didn't know this, it has a fire suppression system in yes, it? Yes, it came with a fire suppression system. Kerry used to run the car on the open track. Oh. So that was one of the things that he wanted with it. And uh, the car actually had racing uh, bucket seats in it at one point too. Okay. okay. I mean, there's a lot of really cool touch, adjustable suspension. Mm -hmm. um, he also took the airbag out and put a, a personal steering wheel in it uh, also. Yeah, that's right. It's a personal Momo in there. Mm -hmm. Look at there. And it's black. It's not like the gray. And, exactly. Um, but the, the cage is, is pretty, it's pretty unique with the bars being able to come out. Um, it's not real fun getting in and out, no. especially if you've got bigger feet. <laughs> and it's not something I'd want to daily drive, but it definitely is, is a, a neat uh, neat piece. I've banged my head on getting in and out and everything else more times than I want to really remember. So the car now has a Vortex supercharger on it um, and the intake. Well, let's just pop the hood. Let's just sure. The hood. So obviously the early style intake, because it was one of the early cars. Right. And, and by that we mean it has, you know, screw in plugs and it may not have the eyebrows on it, but it's taller. Correct. But not as tall as some of the first Because you notice it still has the hood insulation yeah. in it. Right. Right. This car's also got a custom strut tire brace that was also different for this car. Because you have to remember, back in 90, Celine didn't offer a supercharger option. So when they were doing this car for development for the supercharger, they needed to have a tower brace that would clear the... The discharge yeah, too. I, I've been one to actually reference this style of, of brace with it has the supercharger hump, as I call it, right. over that discharge tube. That's something that um, I'm able to spot just by mm -hmm. looking at them now. But this may have been what you would call a, a prototype piece for this. It could have been. Could it's have got been. the three uh, flange bolts in the back. Yeah, and that's that's different than the later ones. But yeah, I see 93 headers. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I, you know, as far as ceramic coated Celine headers. It has the champion plug wires like the SCs would have oh, had. Yeah, look at that. And then the, the blower number on it is 1065. So, um, and it actually says gear charger on it also, as we've talked about in some of the other um, the other videos. You would think it would have a lower seal number on it if it was the development car for Vortec, but I don't know. Who knows how many blowers that they ran on this car? Yeah, and a thousand's pretty low because the other cars we've looked at are in the 1600 to 2000 range. Right. Just, um, you know, but first glance and what we've seen in the videos and what you've seen. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's like, you know, I, I, I'm grateful that you let me pull it out. Uh, there is definitely a Vortec external pump because you can oh, yeah. hear that sucker. It's got a moan. It sounds like a, the bilge pump on the Titanic. <laughs> yeah, yeah it does. It, it definitely does. This has got green top 42s in it. I think we did this in our shop when we retuned it many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. It was kind of lean and, uh, and we uh, made sure that it was safe. I want to say it had 30s in it when we got it and we oh. retuned it. Because it's, uh, 
I know the, it looks like the it's I don't know if the Pro M's matching or not. For, well, it's forty two. It's forty two. Yeah, we okay. probably sent that out and had that recalibrated. Yeah, yeah. I, unfortunately, there's been so many cars through my hands, I can't remember all the details on everything. Well, it, I'm seeing stuff on this. It, there's uh, like a uh, radar detector on it. I mean, there's a lot of really just little bells and whistles that over the years, a lot of cars got, but this seems to have most, if not all of well, them. Well, remember, this was the SC model, so this was the top of the line, and the gentleman that bought it was in property development, and I don't think money was necessarily an issue, so he ordered what he wanted. I mean, it's Global West. Yep. Castor well, they're plates, really the first know? that had the actual camber caster plates. Yeah. The amazing part is it has the Monroe uh, adjustable suspension, and it actually still works. It does. It lit up. Yeah, it, was, it works. I was. That's amazing because um, a lot of that stuff, especially Monroe, I, I've actually chatted with engineers recently and trying to help get yeah, my 90. Unfortunately, yeah. That there's no serviceable stuff. Nope. Unfortunately, you got to find used and or repair yourself. They, they, and not, hope it works. Yeah. And yep. Pray it works. But that's this is just. You know, it's amazing to be in front of something like this um, because it, it's you, you, you look at where it's been, what it's been oh, used yeah. for. How many people have had their hands on it? And, and it's just an excellent condition for, for yeah. being all of that. I mean, the paint looks wet. Like, of course, we've got great light today, thanks sure. for the clouds. But, I mean, you could dive into this thing, dude. And, yeah, and the paint wasn't great in 90. So, uh, you know, <laughs> and this car did spend quite a bit of time in California in the sun. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You know, it's nice. We try to have the nicest and the best of the best for the PAS collection, and this was just a car that we had to have. I'd, yeah, well, I'd, if, if I could put it in a collection of mine, it would definitely be there. <laughs> I think out of all the cars uh, at this location, it's it's definitely at the top of the list, if not the, the one that I would try well, I, to go after. Like I said, unlike the SA-10, I actually have some miles on the, this particular car, and it, it's a lot of fun to drive. Yeah, and it's, I, I, in the conversations with Joe Gazinski, because I actually talked with him on the phone, mm -hmm. he, he was like, that car's fast. Yeah, the, car's, the car runs really well. Yeah. Well, for its day, I, I think now you, you, even a stock five liter these days, a, a maximum yes. would probably take Probably, it, but. but yeah, this, is, this is excellent. Do you, do you know if there's a different transmission? If, does it have a Tremec? I believe it's still got the standard T5 in it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, throttle body, EGR is upgraded for the SC. Uh, bigger radiator those are all standard SC options mm -hmm. and then over the years it got we've never been more. into the inside of the motor so I don't remember but I want to say the car made in the 450 460 range at the tire on our chassis dyno when, when I had the old shop wow I'd yeah. have to pull the dyno sheet but it made really really good power that's a good bit for a 302 I mean that's that's putting down that means you're you're well over you know 500 at the crank so it, it, it runs well yeah, this is way cool. Thanks. I like it, man. Well, I'm glad you were able to come out and take a look at it and enjoy a really neat piece of automotive history. Well, thanks, man. Thanks for having us. This is great. This yep. is great. Um, I guess one final touch on it, rear seat delete, leather flow fits, right? Right. And that's why it had racing buckets in it, because I'm sure Carrie was probably sliding all around in it on oh, the track. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. So that's cool. Hey, look, go to uh, performanceautosport.com. Don't forget to uh, like tag, share, and follow. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Peace.